got to high school, it really wasn't that important to be popular. As a blogger, which is a web writer, someone that writes a web blog, it's really important to be popular. Popularity means views, hits, it means people tweet it, they put it on Facebook, they email it to others, and what that does is it gets you attention in, in a good way. And attention for some people means a syndication, that's what I'm looking for as a blogger, I get my name out there. For some people who have a website, it might need sponsors. And as John was saying, I've gotten a lot of attention lately and I've been really thinking about why, because I want to obviously keep it going. So I thought I would share with you my insights, my five secrets I came up with that are getting that attention for the blog. If you're not a blogger, you certainly do some kind of writing, even if it's just sending a letter to your family. So hopefully the tip today, so one tip you can walk away with. The first thing is, The hook. The hook, you have to come up with something really important that really grabs people's attention right away. Maybe it's something that people are really frustrated about. Maybe it's some dilemma that people are thinking about. But if you can reach them and connect with them immediately on an emotional connection, then you can get their attention right away. For example, as a personal finance writer, I'm writing a blog right now that's going to um, go this week about a 50-year-old. So you're 50 years old and you have kids in college. What do you do? Do you co-sign for student loans for $25,000, $50,000? Oh my gosh, I love my children, but I want to retire someday. My retirement's down. I don't have that much money. What am I going to do? I'm really scared. You read a blog like that, you're going to read it. You're going to send it to all your friends. You might even send it to your Toastmasters club. So you need a really good hook. The second thing is the angle. You want to say something new, something new and fresh. Maybe look at something in a different way. If you're a personal finance writer, seriously, don't write about matches on the 401k. You know, you've read that. We all get it, okay? <laughs> like, you know, whenever I see somebody tweet one of those, Articles. I almost want to just do it instant message back. Say really, because I heard that you know when I was 25. So something fresh and new. And um, I wrote one of the one that I blog that did really well a couple weeks ago uh, was seven decisions that 30 year olds make that might haunt them in their 50s. And um, Cheryl Sandberg, who's the CFO of uh, Facebook, she wrote uh, Lean In. And so she talked about 35-year-old women, and she said, don't wait to get your promotions to have kids. I know you want to have kids, but don't wait for your promotion. So I read about that, and I thought, why, are, why is everyone waiting to have kids till they're 35? Like, then you like, have to have kids this year. You're like, come on, honey. <laughs> We're going out on a date tonight. It's like, oh, and then you can have kids, and you have to pay all this money for fertility treatments. So I wrote, lean way in. Lean way in. Have kids when you're 25. Like, why is everyone waiting? Don't wait for financial security to have children. So it was a kind of a fresh perspective, even though to me it was really pretty obvious. And it got a lot of attention. So when you're writing about that angle, the next thing is the voice. What's your voice? So for a blog, the voice is very relatable. I'm trying to be relatable today because it's a speech for. <laughs> it's not very professional. It's like to, to use words succinctly. But the, a blog is more like us talking at the coffee shop afterwards. It's like meeting your friend for a drink. It's not a mentor. It's not a guru. It's your friend who knows, who's got her, you know, got her stuff together. She knows what she's talking about. That's the voice of a blog. So be relatable. The other thing is, we talked about being popular, right? You guys want to be popular? Piggyback. Piggyback. So when you were in high school, if you hung out with popular people, what were you? Cool. Popular, right? They're like, oh, Nancy's hanging out. 
like hanging out with Susan, like you know, we're keeping the bag, like, oh well, Nancy's like really athletic because she's hanging out with Susan. So that's what you want to do is you want to hang out with the popular people. Piggyback on what's popular. So for example, there's a guy that wrote this great um, blog at Forbes, 20 things 20 year olds don't get. And it got a million hits. So what did I do? I wrote seven financial skills 20 year olds need to learn. And I got 80,000 hits. I took a little bit, you know, I don't copy him, but I, you know, everyone's interested in 20 year olds, I, you know, rode that wave. The other thing I did was I actually linked to his blog. I didn't just ride the wave, like I grabbed the coattails and I just rode them. I linked to his blog, I quoted him, and then could be that Google picked up mine with his, or just that they liked it, that Yahoo liked it. But either way, don't just do that, just link. Then when you're popular, if you want to have those sticky principles, when you're popular, then go ahead and like link to that guy, you know, the guy that's on your coattails. Those are my five secrets that I think will help me get success. The other thing I would leave you with is that you're really writing for one person, but you want to have that message really get to them so that they share it with 10, and they share it with 10, and they share it with 10. And then you can be really popular, and attention is something that's really good for a blogger. Thank you very much.